Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog after an awful night's sleep. It is so warm right now. I'm just packing because I'm going home today but I have class first. And I'm meeting Natasha for hot chocolate before class. I'm trying to get packed quickly so that everything is out the way and then I can just enjoy my day. I'm walking to meet Natasha. We're gonna have um, Costa before class and then head to class. The last class has been ended because there's now a fire alarm. So that's fun. How are you feeling? Scared. <laughs> Everyone packed up their stuff and took ages to leave. So. <laughs> yeah. so we waited for a while to see if there were going to be any flames, but there wasn't. So now we've decided we'll call it a day. Excitement over. And um, we'll head off. Izzy's going to do some shopping. Natasha's going to go for her lunch. I'm going to get on my train and go for a wee because I'm bursting. I'm bursting for the wee and I was going to go after class and then the fire alarm went off. So that was fun. Days running now. I'm not running it. <laughs> Imagine, I need the room! <laughs> That'd be so weird. There's so many other buildings. <laughs> yeah, literally, like all of them. No, I'll just run it in there. <laughs> so funny to the other people on the tube though that probably get it every day so I was on the phone and I was like no mum it's a Liverpool but it's a tube and she was like so I'm in Chester and you're in London and I was like no mum I'm in Liverpool <laughs> oh it was funny I'm now home excuse the awful angle I'm carrying a million things you can't even see me but um I'm going off now to surprise Reese, who thinks I'm eating Chinese in Newcastle I've arrived on Reese's Road. I'm gonna text him, say, oh, I can't be bothered with choir because he thinks that's why I didn't come home tonight. So he'll be really annoyed if I say that. I can't be bothered with choir, do you wanna come around to mine instead? And he'll think that's like me joking, but then I'll be like, no, actually I'm outside. My tea's going cold at home, please come out. Cause he's gotta come out quite quick cause my tea actually is at home getting cold. I said CBA with choir and he said, you got this. And I said, no, I'm not going. And he said, oh, okay. Um, which is him sad. And then I'm gonna say, wanna come around to mine instead? He said, not really. That's so rude. That's well rude. I've come for 180 miles for this. He's watching a film. Not not acceptable, right? I'm driving up to his house um, and then I'll tell him I'm not. I sent a picture of his driveway and said, please come, my tea's coming, going cold. And he said, Meg Bestie, no. So rude. I'm the only one that's pulled off a successful surprising. And I get treated like that. But he is on his way at times. Hey, Hi. What's with this? Let's go. What's your problem? Go on. It's not focused. What's your problem? I'm bored. You're bored? Let's go. I've come to surprise you. Let's go. I'm not very excited. This is a bit of an inconvenience for me, actually. Uh huh. I was sitting at home enjoying watching Harry Potter. Just wanted a nice, quiet night, and now I have to get up, pack, and go. I came all this way. I'd rather you didn't. Rude. Cut the cameras. Ooh, the lights. So we're just chilling. I have just been editing Vlogmas and we're watching this really fun show called Amazing Hotels Life Beyond the Lobby on BBC. And it's really good, especially we're currently planning a gap year. I mean, mm -hmm. like we were meant to be going to Budapest in a few days and that's cancelled. So you never know what will happen. So maybe this year, this time next year, we might not be on a gap year, but hopefully we will be. So, and we, we love travel. Mm -hmm. We love what at the minute we love watching anything travel, but because if we possible, can't do <laughs> if possible, we'd love traveling. Um, all these hotels are out of our budget, but I still recommend. <laughs> so, we just watched an episode about Marina Bay Sands Hotel. I'll insert a picture somewhere on the screen. It's a really fancy hotel, and we're guessing how much we think it is a night. So, Reese's guess is 1200 pounds. My guess is 700. The average is £345 a night. We could do one night. 
when I say we could do one on night, I mean Reese can buy a night and gift it to me because I can't do one night. Look at that rooftop pool. It's a really iconic. It is. It's like the most famous Singaporean sort of. Yeah. Like, look at them rooms. And that's just a normal room. I'm going to shower and then we're going to watch another episode of this program. We're now, we watched episode, the next episode, which was about the Hotel Brando, which is like its own island in the French Polynesia and it's really eco-friendly and stuff. So we're going to have a look how much, take a guess, take a guess. Mm, I think this one has to be more. Definitely. 900 to 1,100. I think the cheapest will be 7,000 a night. Okay, a bit different. Well, I know how much the most expensive was. Yeah, 11,000. Yeah, accommodations, let's see. One bedroom villa, that's it. One bedroom villa, low season, 2,900 euros, plus taxes. So it's basically 6,600, because you have to stay for two nights. Look at you, I got it right, me, me, me. That's the end of Vlogmas for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so we can reach our 1300 subscriber goal. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode. Bye!